Okay, I have with me on the left the Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus, and on the right I have the Microsoft Surface Pen. And uh, I wanted to see which one of these performed better on my Surface Pro 7. So let's take a look at these. Um, the Wacom Bamboo Ink Pen, uh, first of all, it charges with USB-C from the side of the barrel here. So it includes a USB-C cable and it has a little carrying case with three additional nibs, a firm, a soft, and a blue. Haven't quite noticed much of a difference between most of those nibs. And also, in terms of the body of the pen, it has a Bluetooth pairing button here, two buttons uh, on the side, and a pen clip. The Surface Pen doesn't include anything other than the pen itself. It has one button on the side, a eraser button at the top, um, and no pen clip at all, so I will probably end up losing this thing. Let's take a look at performance now. Uh, this pen does work with both uh, Wacom AES as well as Microsoft Surface. It's dual protocol and you just hold down both buttons here to switch the protocol. But in terms of performance, uh, unfortunately I can't say that it performed very well. One of the things that I've noticed is that it requires quite a bit of initial activation pressure uh, in order to get anything going with this pen. And I have to kind of use it on a certain angle, otherwise it's just not registering at all. Once I have it register, I could kind of get some decent lines, but it's still kind of tricky. And I'm going to try and do some of the slow diagonals that most pens struggle with. I think it seems okay actually handling the diagonals. It's this Any jitterness is basically just from me. Also, both of these pens have tilt support, so in terms of tilt support, you know, you can see that it, it does okay, and you can see that it could get some darker shades, but it's still a little bit hard to get a lot of different shades. Um, and I'll do this with a pencil tool as well, I was using a paintbrush before. So again, half the time the lines just don't register if I just use my, you know, if I don't put much force on it. But once I get it going, like I could get some continuous lines. And, you know, I could kind of shade with it. Now with the Microsoft Pen, I could get pretty consistent lines. And it doesn't require very much force in order to get going at all. And because of that, I could get a nicer gradient in terms of light lines to medium to dark lines which I struggle with with the Wacom pen and you know pencil as well pretty much every line registers unlike with the Wacom pen and in terms of shading you know I could use this pen at an angle pretty much any angle and it works now we're in Autodesk Sketchbook and I'm using the Wacom Pen. You kind of got to get it at just the right angle in order for it to register. And both of these pens, like the palm rejection is not that great, but with uh, Autodesk Sketchbook, at least with the mobile version of it, you could have it so that it's just pen enabled and you don't have to deal with uh, any of the palm issues. But you can see that, you know, once you get the line going, it does okay. And even has decent tilt for shading. But it's hard to control. Let's also look at this in the pencil, with the pencil tool as well. Again, the, the lines are really hard to get it to register at first. But once it registers, you can actually tilt with it and shade. Let's compare this to the Microsoft Pen. I'm going to start with the brush again. You can see that I could get a lot of different shades with lines. And then I could still also tilt and shade with this. And same thing for the pencils. And I'm doing basically the same thing with both pens. One just seems to work a little bit better than the other. And both of these pens supports tilt. 
but you can see that the tilt here, I have a lot more control than I did with the Wacom pen. Okay, so there you have it. You have the Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus on top and you have the Microsoft pen on the bottom. I really want to like the Bamboo Ink Plus because it has dual protocol so that you can use it with Microsoft as well as Wacom AES devices. But unfortunately, if you're using a Microsoft device, the Microsoft pen just performs way better. If you have to use it on both Microsoft as well as AES device, then you know the Bamboo might be a choice for you. In terms of what I'm using for with the Surface Pro, I would have to go with the Microsoft pen.